Hi, I'm Josie and this is my best friend Amanda. And I'm Amanda and this is my best friend Josie. We met in college and we thought she would be a missionary. And we thought she would not be a missionary and stay home. But as it turned out, God had significant local ministry for Amanda to do in Southern California. Mm -hmm. And God had significant ministry for Josie to do in Ukraine. And all along the way, Amanda has been supporting me. That's true, both financially and emotionally, I think. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. What has it meant for you to support me for so long, like 20 years yeah. almost? Well, we, um, my husband and I always believed in supporting missions. It was part of our just budgeting as a family, and it was easy to decide to support someone that we knew. And it made us feel like we were being, first of all, like obedient to God, that mm -hmm. we were giving not only to our local church, but to the global church and mission efforts. Um, and we love feeling connected to what God was doing in, in the world. And is you know, specifically like through a family that we loved and trusted and knew that was like representing Jesus well in the world. That was really special to us. So. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Um, and what are some of the ways that I was able to support you mm. when I was overseas? Right. So in what ways did you feel like we were partners in the gospel? That's such a neat idea. Well, so many things I learned about the way that you were learning about culture in Ukraine and how to be culturally sensitive to Ukraine made me really think about what it meant to bring the gospel like locally. So I felt like it enhanced the way I learned to teach, learning about how you presented the gospel to, you know, a foreign country. Mm -hmm. um, you supported me as a friend too. We always joke that we wish we had our emails because we emailed for years and years. We did before uh, Skype and before, FaceTime. Right? Yeah, we and wrote massive emails. Massive to each other. emails about being a mom and ministering and what that looked like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I always loved that you kept me in the loop just mm -hmm. as much as I kept you in the loop. So I always knew how I could be praying for you. Mm -hmm. I always felt like I was a really significant part of your life, mm -hmm. even though I lived so far overseas and anytime we were home you always made space mm -hmm. um, to connect with me and and didn't just want a ministry report but wanted to know about my heart oh and yeah so I always really appreciated that it was a huge support to me even even beyond the financial aspect oh yeah absolutely I mean the financial almost just became automatic yeah um, but yeah and we love getting your newsletters the old news and and you know knowing what was going on but gosh we had you would come home and it would be just like nothing had changed mm -hmm. and you know you were you happened to be home when one of my babies was born you yeah. came to the hospital i was here for one of the you know when one of your kids was born in the u.s and baby showers and stuff so yeah it's been a great partnership and friendship for a long time for a very long time 25 years <gasps> yeah oh my gosh oh my gosh yeah